<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. It's Kieran Murray and Sherry Murray from Let's Talk About Northwest Wines. We are your admin team. We are traveling right now still. You might have seen some of our previous videos. We are um, closing out our second week on the Ama Magna with uh, Ama Waterway. We just totally love it. We are it's a little, little bit past nine o'clock in the morning. We are in a Passau, Germany, and uh, it's just absolutely beautiful here. We just sailed out of Linz this morning, or actually last night. Uh, it was great when we sailed out last night. The, the first little town we came to just outside of Linz had the most spectacular fireworks display. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. And uh, they closed down the river, so we couldn't do anything except sit there and watch, watch it. it. It was spectacular. <laughs> it was just unbelievable. There are worse things that could have happened. Uh, but anyway, uh, we drank some great wash and wines last night. But we didn't get to making a video because we just got to doing other stuff. So we wanted to make sure we featured those this morning. And last night, we took a trip uh, to Red Mountain via Linz. Austria Austria. slash... Yeah. Germany, I guess. I guess we were in Austria the whole time. But we started at the top of the mountain with uh, this great bottle of Tenuta from Col Solari. Our friends Jenny and Scott uh, Mills brought this from home. And Col Solari just, you want to say anything about Col Solari? Because they just, we just love Col Solari. They're, they're, they're so big and bold. They are. They're just, um, the the wines that they have up there are just absolutely phenomenal. Like like Karen was saying, they're big, they're bold, they're strong, they're yummy. Tenuta is actually one of my favorites that they do. I have two favorites. I have Tenuta and then I have anything that comes out of 2014, um, especially from Col Solari, is amazing. Um, our first experience with Col Solari was at the bodega um, in Woodenville. And um, then we were able to go out to the vineyard shortly thereafter. And um, we did a tour on the little um, uh, like golf cart through the vineyard, and it was just absolutely spectacular. And um, I just I just cannot say enough about how yummy these wines are. My my favorite is anything that has the Col Solari in the label. Okay, that's true, but I was fine year. tuning it just yeah. slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you ever get a chance to get out to a Red Mountain and, and go up to the top of the mountain and do a taste in there, it's just absolutely phenomenal. By the way, if you're hearing any background noise right now, like bubbling. Because it's we're sitting, hot tub. sitting right next to the hot tub, which <laughs> when we're done this video, that's exactly where we're going to go. Everyone else got off the ship. We were here last week, um, so we did the tour, so we let everyone else get off the ship so we do some videos and sit in the hot tub. So that's exactly where we're going in about 10 more minutes. So um, it's a special place to be on the ship. Um, so yeah, Col Solari on the Red Mountain and at the bodega in uh, Chateau Saint Michel. You got to go check them out if you haven't. We've actually converted a lot of people who said they didn't like wine. They thought that red wine just was horrible. And then we said, well, come with us. And we would take them to Cole Sorry, And they're like, oh my gosh, is this what, what Wash and Wines is all about? And we're like, mm-hmm, that's what Wash and Wines is all about. <laughs> uh, another place we take people to convert them um, and to show them one of the best times ever in Wash and Wines is our next one. Our friend Neil Cooper makes uh, this great Lenicio from Cooper Wine Company. Yes. And uh, he is the at the bottom of the hill on Red Mountain. So if you go to Red Mountain and you turn left or right on Sunset Drive to head north, he's gonna be the very first winery on the left. Big red buildings, you can't miss them. Little RV park and uh, phenomenal wines. Uh, we've joined the club just a slightly over two years ago. We just showed up on Facebook Memories. We just yep. had our two year anniversary. And it's been one of those clubs that we've just, we've enjoyed um, just tons. It'll probably be a club that I don't ever see as canceling. Never. Uh, just because the experience we have when we take friends there, Everybody always buys his wine or joins his club, always, 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 because the wines are so good and the experience is so fantastic, so. It's one of those wineries, like so many others um, out there, um, Cooper really stands out because when you go in, they really do treat you like family. Um, and you just have an amazing time and an amazing experience from start to finish. And um, yeah, again, it's just, it's one of those you just can't say enough about. One, one of the cool things is, so it's all the state grown grapes, which there's other people who have a state grown grapes, obviously, um, but Coop actually lives there on site in his motor yep. coach. So when you're there, um, unless he's traveling to see other club members around the country, which he does some, some Coop tours, um, there's a good chance that he'll actually be there. And so when you're tasting in the, in the, in the, in the tasting room or, or outside or on a Friday night, uh, you're probably gonna run into him and he's probably gonna hang out with you and spend a few hours, whatever he can, and it depends on how many people are there, but uh, he'll give you all the time he possibly can just to educate you and geek out on wines. That was our very first experience when we were there two years ago. Um, he happened to be there and spent like three hours with us geeking out over wines and what goes into winemaking and 
uh, it was just a fantastic event. And that's so when we take friends or family or colleagues or whoever back and they're able to experience the same thing, they're always joining his club because they're like, wow, this was this was something you don't you don't get normally get. So it's really great having the owner winemaker living on site, being able to um, walk you through the whole process and treat you like family. And so that's why we love uh, we love Cooper Wine Cup. We love Neil Cooper. Well, and it is family run because his sister Sherry also runs the tasting room. And of course, we can never ever forget about Buck. I think I think I think actually Buck and I Sherry. I think Buck I think runs Buck, everything. I think Buck and Sherry. <laughs> Buck and Sherry actually do all the work and then Neil gets all the credit. I'm pretty sure that that's fairly accurate. <laughs> Wait, we'll, we'll, see, we'll I, see how Neil responds. I was going to say, we, Sher we might get some uh, blowback on that Sher one. Sherry's going to add a comment and say, you're so right, you're so called. Neil's going to get, Neil will probably come back and say, Neil's you're so gonna right. Neil's going to send us a video and a photo of him out in the vineyards working at like 4 a.m. in the morning going, really? She does all the work? I don't see her out here. <laughs> You know who we actually need to do a little shout out for? So there's 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 Neil, there's Sherry, and there's Buck, but then there's there's the fourth leg, and that's Tim. So Tim is <laughs> <laughs> brother Tim is there. Um, he's he's not blood family, but he sure is family, and yes, he uh, is. and he's fast becoming family of ours. And uh, so he's, he's often staying in the park himself. He's got a coach, lives in town, does a lot of traveling with Sherry and Neil. Uh, so Neil. Uh, Neil, make sure that Tim gets to see that we gave him a shout out because uh, hi Tim, he's as, he's as every bit of the whole organization as anybody else. So absolutely, uh, when you guys get a chance to go to Red Mountain, which if you haven't, you absolutely need to. There's so many great wineries on Red Mountain, uh, but the ones we brought with us on this trip for this for this video are Col Solari up at the top and uh, Cooper Wine Company. Uh, first one on the left as you as you head up Sunset. But uh, there's so many that you could choose from. And so get out there and spend a couple days and go enjoy yourselves. And uh, we're going to enjoy the pass out for, for a few hours while we're here. And then we're going to take off here. We're going to venture down to Vilshofen, where we end our trip with an Oktoberfest tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we have to leave this ship. We been, only are leaving the ship portion We're only leaving of the, the trip, ship, because then we're going to go spend six more days up in Prague, oh, Czech Republic. Oh, one of my Republic. favorite cities. So we got like a little nine-hour drive. We're taking 12 of us up on a little tour um, with three stops on the way to Prague tomorrow. So you'll see us again. We'll do a couple more videos from Prague, and then we got uh, another video today to do that we, some other wineries that we drank that were just phenomenal. So um, the next two you're going to see are a couple wines we had from Walla Walla that uh, were just yummy, 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 delicious. So. Hey, wherever you're at, I know we're getting along. It's uh, eight minutes here. I thought this would be a nice little three-minute video, but that just never happens. So wherever you're at, go enjoy your day. Uh, love you guys, and uh, we will see you soon. Here's cheers from Passau, Germany. Love you guys. Bye, guys.